Earth has been hit by asteroids, collided with other planets, and frozen over countless times over the last few billion years, not to mention being dominated by a slew of bizarre living forms. It's a marvel our blue homeworld has survived at all. But if we want to take a quick tour of our planet's history, we'll have to start at the beginning. Our solar system emerged from a thick cloud of interstellar gas and dust some 4.5 billion years ago. This cloud compressed into a swirling disk of matter that grew hotter and hotter until hydrogen fused into helium. And our sun was born, and baby Earth was on its way as well. Following the birth of our star, all the matter on the spinning disk's outskirts began to clump together. These aggregates would be the seedlings for our solar system's planets and moons. They got bigger and more spherical as they absorbed more stuff. The clusters in the cooler areas of the solar system were largely formed of ice, liquids, and gases. Closer to the sun, all the rocky material combined to form the inner planets such as Mars and Earth. Volcanically, this young Earth was highly active. It emitted gases like hydrogen sulfide, methane, and carbon dioxide. These gases formed the very first atmosphere on our planet. The early Earth was continuously pummeled by huge asteroids and comets, and soon after, Earth was subjected to an even more devastating collision. Theia, a planet the size of Mars, collided with our newborn globe. This enormous impact flung fragments of stuff all around Earth's orbit, and then gravity linked them together to form what we now call the Moon. There were no oceans on this scorching early Earth. All water existed as a gas. However, our planet cooled sufficiently for water to condense and become liquid 3.8 billion years ago. The very first rudimentary ocean covered our early Earth and transformed it into a water world. H2O is a necessary component in the formation of biological organisms. So, with all that water, life appeared on Earth some 3.7 billion years ago. These first forms of life were microscopic creatures. But it wasn't until nearly a billion years later that some of these organisms altered the course of history. Earth was not an aquatic world for very long. The first continents arose from the old ocean quite quickly. They are referred to as cratons by scientists. As more land emerged from the ocean, the world's first supercontinent appeared. Valbara wasn't precisely a supercontinent. It was rather little. Scientists believe it was no larger than the continent of Australia. Cyanobacteria emerged around 2.4 billion years ago to become our planet's first photosynthesizers. Finally, we had some oxygen generators to make the Earth's atmosphere far more friendly. We have a long way to go. With all of this fresh oxygen, the Earth's atmosphere had substantially lower quantities of carbon dioxide. As a result, the planet became extremely cold. As Earth experienced its first ice age, much of our young world froze over. The continents were shifting as the Earth's atmosphere shifted. They split off and reassembled to form Rodinia, the next supercontinent. Rodinia was a true supercontinent. It may have been the world's largest supercontinent. What about life? So, life has finally become more complicated. But then, something occurred. Rodinia disintegrated, resulting in the formation of a new supercontinent. Panotia was the name of this one. Then, between 540 and 485 million years ago, there was an explosion of new life. The Cambrian explosion was named after this period, and the animals that emerged during this time period had hard body features like shells or spines. The most famous were the trilobites, which resembled aliens. Around 440 million years ago, the climate abruptly changed, and the temperature of the water changed considerably. Earth had its first mass extinction event. This was the Ordovician Silurian extinction, and the vast bulk of the life that had been expanding across the Earth vanished. Many of these life types lay the groundwork for the ecosystems that we have today.
The first trees emerged from the Earth's soil between 420 and 350 million years ago. The first animals also arrived on shore. Pangaea, our last and largest supercontinent, spanned the planet 250 million years ago. Unfortunately, the largest mass extinction event in human history occurred during this time period, the Great Dying. Huge levels of greenhouse gases and rapid global warming killed off almost 90% of all species on Earth. However, this global extinction helped prepare the way for the next generation of animals to arise. Dinosaurs initially arose between 240 and 230 million years ago. They'd rule the land for the next 150 million years. If you were there, you would have seen the massive sauropod Argentinosaurus, the largest land animal ever. Or you could have been pursued by one of Earth's greatest apex predators, the T-Rex. You'd also see Pangaea breaking apart and producing the continents we know today. You might have guessed where this is going. An asteroid slammed into our planet 66 million years ago, roughly where Mexico now stands and spewed up so much material into the atmosphere that it blacked out the sun. This resulted in catastrophic climate shifts that wiped out the dinosaurs. Mammals became increasingly common in the next generation of developing creatures. The first known people walked the Earth about six million years ago. This species was known as Sahelanthropus, even if they did walk on all fours. Early humans began walking upright four million years ago, and around one million years later, they'd create the earliest known tools, which they used to break things. Things flared 800,000 years ago. These early people learned how to handle fire and could now prepare food and generate heat for themselves. Their brains continued to evolve faster than before. These people learned to interact with one another and with their surroundings in entirely different ways. Then, between 40,000 and 15,000 years ago, all other human species save Homo sapiens became extinct. The Earth's first farmers appeared 10,000 years ago. These once nomadic humans quit roving the Earth and ultimately settled down. The Industrial Revolution occurred around 250 years ago. We went through enormous technological, economical, and cultural changes. Rural farm-based communities gave way to more industrialized metropolitan societies. Our human population continues to increase. We had reached 1 billion by 1804. By 1927, we'd surpassed 2 billion. And since the 1960s, the global population has expanded at an alarming rate, reaching nearly 8 billion people today. Climate change is a new threat to human survival and the survival of many other forms of life on Earth. Temperatures and sea levels are rising globally, but biodiversity is diminishing. If nothing changes, we may be on the approach of another global extinction.